I'm Wally. And I'm Mimi. Welcome to the Dash and Dot Show. Today we'll be showing you all about variables. A variable is a placeholder. You can think of it as a bag or a jar or a cup. Whatever's inside is a value. Today I'm going to program Wally. Wait, why me? There you go. So, I have a glass. The glass is the variable and the marbles are the values. I'm going to program Wally to toss dot. If I put two marbles in the glass and start the program, Wally will toss dot twice. See? Now I'm going to add three more marbles. And now Wally's going to toss dot five times. That's enough of that. Your turn. I'm going to program you. Wally, have you lost your marbles? Hello? Hi, Mimi. This is Albert. I need a little help. I was trying to explain variables to some of the other toys, and I got stuck in this loop. Wow. You just can't catch a break. <sighs> Sorry, Wally. I got to go. One of our friends isn't as smart as we think he is. It's okay. I'll hold down the fort. See you later, alligator. Whatever happened to in a wild crocodile? I've transformed Dash and Dot into pets to surprise Mimi. They look like cats and dogs, but they don't act like them. Yet. I've made the program so that when I hit start, it's going to set the orange variable to zero and wait for Dot to look down. And when Dot looks down, it's going to add one to the orange variable and test to see if the orange variable is at two or any other number. If it's at two, it's going to make all the lights green and Dot's gonna make a surprising little sound. And if it's anything else, it's going to make all the lights orange and make a cat noise. Meow. Hopefully this confuses Mimi. Let's try it. Problem solved. What's this? Thought I'd surprise you by changing Dash and Dot into pets. Oh, I want to try. Go ahead. Put me down. Or not. I think I have a way with robots pretending to be cats. Uh huh. That's a trick. How'd you do that? Secret ingredient? Variables. I think Dash is ready to turn into a dog now. Me too. We'll turn Dash into a dog right after the super uber duper important message. Hello, Albert here. They finally gave me my own segment, Genius Tips. Get it? Because I'm a, well, anyway, this is my bodyguard, Mega Dot. Here's a handy tip for when you're using variables in Blockly. You can set your variable to a random number. This will allow you to add that spirit of chaos your program truly needs. Hi everyone, meet Bloopy the dog. <laughs> Looks like a real dog. Mm -hmm. I wonder what would happen if we put a cat in front of him. Let's find out. The program starts when Bloopy sees the cat. All of its lights will turn orange and it will make a dog sound. Once Bloopy is picked up, it will choose a random number between one and three. Each of the patterns we've made is numbered with numbers one to three. The first pattern is Bloopy spinning around in a circle. The second pattern is it just looking up and down. And the third pattern is it looking left and right. Okay. <laughs> it's very excited. Yeah. Who's a good boy? I think it's time for them to take a nap. Thanks for watching this episode of the Dash and Dot Show. Also, if you like us, be sure to subscribe. Find out more, go to makewonder.com slash play.